Not Autumn Joy telling me my daughter looks nothing like me and looks everything like Robert. That's you and everybody else. That's typically I'm just what, what happens. That's when it comes to girls and that, because both my boys look just like their mothers. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. uh, Autumn Joy joining us this morning, as you can see, Hello. and uh, we're already cracking up. It's good to see you as always. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And you two, are you meeting for the first time? Yeah, I've seen him a lot, and I, I've always yes. wanted to meet him, so I'm loving this suit, looking oh, good. Thank, thank this you, is you an so very thing, much. Girl. That's me. Is this something? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm looking very fabulous. Thank so you. Congratulations. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> All right, let's hop into it here. Talk celebrity dish. So Kanye West has found himself in some legal trouble yet again. He and his wife, uh, Bianca Sensori, are under investigation in Venice. Producer Chris joins us now with that story. Chris, good morning. Kanye got caught with his pants down, Jeanette. <laughs> Literally this time, okay? So the pair were on a romantic vacation in Venice last week at the Italian city when the cameras caught them in the middle of what is being described as an inappropriate act. So the images that went viral online, which we are not showing on TV, showed the couple on a boat with what appeared to be Bianca kneeling in front of Kanye West, who at the exact same time had his bare butt exposed. <laughs> they were reportedly surrounded by other boats with tourists on them and people on land nearby who witnessed the so-called lewd act taking place. Now, Venice police are investigating and a source close to the city's mayor says he hopes the couple will be fine. Meanwhile, the company that owns the boat they were on has banned the couple from ever coming back on board. Now, I'll admit, I have seen these pictures, I have seen these videos, yeah. and it's not just people in other boats and people on land nearby. There are people on the same what? boat with <laughs> Them. Oh, wow. so, I didn't know that. <laughs> no shame whatsoever, it appears, oh allegedly. Yes. Yeah. What? Wow, you buried the lead there. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's a Game of Thrones moment so, where he just goes through the city and they just ring the bell. Shame. Wow. Exactly. Oh my gosh. But it's like literally, Kanye, did you think that we couldn't see you? Like, did you think you were invisible? But it just, for me, this couple, it just seems like they're on some sort of mission to get banned from these foreign countries. Because yeah. she was like walking through the city with her mm -hmm. bare cheeks exposed with like mm -hmm. a sheer situation and they didn't appreciate that. So you have to understand when you're going to these places, you have to respect respect their yeah, culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, come on, Kanye. So what would be the term for, you know, that there's Mount High Club, right? Uh -huh. So what, what would be the term for this? Like, below sea level? <gasps> <laughs> That's a great question. There's a couple of things I'm thinking of, but I can't say it on TV. Um, I will say, like, like you said, they've been pushing the envelope for a while. I think this, maybe they're even looking for this. This mm -hmm. is their way of staying in the headlines. Yeah. Um, I think it's a shame, but um, I, they're getting what they want, right? Folks are talking about mm -hmm. them. Kanye That's has his own verb at this point. You know, he is his own verb, but then he's just kanye <laughs> Exactly. It's Kanye. Kanye's Kanye. gonna Kanye. Kanye. Exactly. Kanye's gonna Kanye. And I like that at first people called it a wardrobe malfunction on his part, like right. he split his pants. Mm. Not the case here. Also, <laughs> this Italian vacation is going on like three months at yeah. this point, it seems like. So I don't know whether they've moved there full time or what, but it doesn't seem like they're gonna be welcome back. Let's talk about little Timmy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner now. And I saw you talking to TMZ about this a little earlier, Jeanette, and uh -huh. you seem to think that this is all just a PR thing, but they're shutting down those rumors, Aww. okay? They're shutting them down. They were caught on camera making out at Beyonce, giving something, the haters, excuse me, something to cry about. So the couple went public, like I said, at the Beyonce concert. They were caught on camera packing on some serious PDA. Rumors they were dating started months ago, but they had not been spotted together publicly until now. Now, I know you said this seems like a Kris Jenner PR move, but honestly, I feel worse for Lil Rel than I do for any of the <laughs> Timmy Chalamet fans, because I don't know whether you guys saw, he proposed to his girlfriend at the Beyonce right, concert, yeah. and that has not gotten talked about at all, yeah. completely <laughs> overshadowed yeah. by these two making out in the crowd. I, I totally forgot about that, and I actually, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Do you think this is genuine? You know what, I think that it's a it's a different kind of a vibe for Kylie, because we're used to her dating the rappers, yeah. right? And that clearly hasn't worked out for her. So maybe it's like, you know what, let me stay away from that genre of boyfriend and try the actor route. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a cute guy, yeah. and, and they, they make a cute couple. Mm -hmm. um, I, he seems a little square mm -hmm. for Kylie, but hey, listen, if, if it works for her, it works for her whole 
hopefully this this situation is maybe she'll get the ring this time mm. you know maybe she'll walk down the aisle we'll mm. see uh, but they were packing it on like yeah heavy yeah well, could both things be true you know maybe uh, they are into each other and it is a good PR move so mm. hey yeah um, why, why not make it a win-win yeah. I mean mm. but even if I uh, know let's say it is orchestrated I knew he was a good actor <laughs> <laughs> I will, so. I will say, I'm sure Kylie, you know, thinks he's I. Right. Like, oh, he's Timmy's cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know that it's like making out. Like, it was, it just seems so excessive. Like, mm -hmm. I get a peck on the cheek or maybe kissing a couple of times. Yeah. It was so like the notebook. Yeah. Type thing. Very that much. to me is giving me PR. Mm -hmm. but, and, um, the, and the question that the internet seems to have is, what do you think these two talk about in their free time? Because they just seems like they have absolutely nothing in common. I try to think of something. I got. Nothing. I got I, nothing. Me neither. Nothing, nothing no. at all. Maybe TikTok. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, we've yeah. known couples where honestly it's less talking, more doing. You know. Okay. So, mm. Fair enough. Who mm. knows? Mm. But in that case, I guess that maybe it would be genuine. Will. Well, well we'll start the clock. We'll see how long it lasts. All right, let's move on to Apple TV now because they just unveiled a new documentary about the iconic supermodels from back in the heyday oh. of the '90s. The doc features the careers of Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, Linda Evangelista, and Chrissy Turlington at the height of their fame. They just dropped the new teaser trailer for it. Take a look. They brought their artistry to the image. They would see things we didn't necessarily see. They're like the Mona Lisa, the face of her era. They're larger than life. We helped break down barriers. I have to think of something greater than myself. When I first was referred to as a supermodel, I was like, why are they calling us this? It wasn't about the hair and the makeup. It wasn't about the fashion. It was about the women. That's what a supermodel is. So Campbell, Crawford, Evangelista, and Turlington are also all executive producers on the project. The supermodels debut September 20th on Apple TV Plus. They all still look amazing and they are all yeah. still going mm. strong too because I believe they're also in a new Victoria's Secret ad I believe mm -hmm. as well yeah. some of them mm -hmm. too. What do, yeah. you, what do you think? I, I think Naomi Campbell is amazing. Like yeah. of course I, I, the other women are dope as well but being a black girl like seeing Naomi like in the limelight in the spotlight mm -hmm. it really did something for me and I'm sure mm -hmm. so many other women mm -hmm. across the world Absolutely. and they are iconic so give them their flowers while they can smell yeah. them right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love, no I'm here for it. Um, I think it was uh, uh, it was motivational, it was yeah. inspirational, but most importantly, it was aspirational. Mm -hmm. You know, like, as you just said, for, for little for little brown girls, you know, black and brown girls to see Naomi Campbell. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I even lo I love me some Cindy Crawford, too. Yes. Right. You know, oh, my, in the 90s? Oh, forget about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I, I, I'm here for them receiving their flowers because they were such... I feel revolutionaries yeah. Yeah. of the uh, of the, the genre. I feel mm -hmm. like gone are the days in the era of the the true true supermodel. I think mm. that while while the models now are incredibly talented, gorgeous, and all of that, you have the influencers mm -hmm. now on on the stage. But like the time of of this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I love to see us, like you said, giving them their flowers and recognizing the the icons that they were. So I yeah. am all in for it. Love Same. To see it. You're <laughs> definitely not wrong too, because this has been a thing, especially in fashion magazines where you can't really name fashion models right, anymore exactly. the same yeah. way you used to be able to because they right. put a lot of actors and other celebrities mm -hmm. well, you give someone a, covers a, a, now. You give someone a phone with a data plan, everybody's a, everybody's exactly. a model. Exactly. Well, There's that. Let's, <laughs> let's wrap things up with another cover model, though, okay? And we're talking about Haley Bailey, okay? She's gracing the cover of the latest issue of Cosmopolitan, and she's also opening up about her love life, her relationship with rapper DDG. So the 23-year-old actress and songstress calling it the first time she's ever genuinely felt in love, saying, quote, this is my first deep, deep real love. You see the cover right there. The Little Mermaid star was the first linked to the rapper early last year and says that love has been one of the biggest inspirations for her music, guys. Mm, I, I, unpopular opinion. I don't like him for her. I, I, I don't know what it is. So unpopular. unpopular of an opinion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just feel like you know how it is. That young love. You really People think like this is the guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I the thing about it. I, I I don't like to give. A, you know how I, I like. I recognize in relationships things could be subjective. Hey, if you like it, I love it. 
He has said some things publicly that yes. objectively I don't think is respectful mm. or loving of a partner to do or say about exactly. your partner. Exactly. And it is troubling and it happens time and time again and I just hope to God I'm missing something. Oh, well, I'm sure I'm sure it is just me, but I don't even know who he is. So I'm, I'm, sure it's just, I'm sure it's just me. I'm that, that's how out of touch I am when it comes to the, uh, the, the music industry right now. Yeah. Yeah, no, if you don't listen to his music, you won't know who he is. He's, he's a rapper, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I'm, I'm stuck on the whole, this first time I've fell madly, deeply in love. Isn't she 19? Yeah, you know, that's why I say lo young love. You know how it is. Like, oh, I remember those that, days. Oh, I just yeah. love them. And then you look yeah. back, you're like, what was I what thinking? Was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Autumn Joy, uh, she's going to be joining us on Line Lunch Hour, so yes. we'll get even more of the, the duo coming up not too, uh, not too far away from now. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for always. having me. Holly, we'll send it over to you. All right, we're going to stay on the Little Mermaid front right now because if you're a fan of it and you didn't see the new live action version in the theater, uh, it's making its Disney Plus debut, and that's happening today. Coming up next, Kevin McCarthy is going to go back in the vault to share more from his sit-down with star Halle Bailey.